Hi friends, this is my first video on the topic GeoGebra and Math. Uh, we are going to prepare a simulation related to the properties of triangles where we will see what is the meaning of orthocenter, centroid, incenter and circumcenter and how are these points related, where are these points in location according to the type of triangle like acute triangle, right triangle and obtuse triangle. So let us begin with this. So for working on uh, GeoGebra, we have to first download it and sign in and this is how after signing in it appears, this is my profile and once we are here, click on the right side this waffle and uh, select GeoGebra Classic. We will work on GeoGebra Classic because it works on every platform and this is how the user interface looks like for GeoGebra application tool. Here the right side. This one is called the geometry part and the left side the white space where you see plus symbol and input this is called the algebra part. In the algebra part if you type anything the response comes in the geometry part. GeoGebra is uh, an application, an open source application uh, which is uh, a combination of uh, geometry and algebra so GeoGebra. So let us start working on this. Uh, for creating the simulation on the properties of triangle that I'm going to discuss now, click on this toolbar and I don't want this graph so I want plane so this is what and click on the first menu where we can remove the Cartesian the coordinate axis. So this is the workspace. Now uh, for properties of triangle we want first triangle. So for getting a triangle you can click on this point option and select this point and put three points here and connect them with line segments but I want a colored triangle so I'll select the polygon part so select it now this is the first point connect it to the next point connect to third point and go back to the first point so this is the triangle once you get the triangle I don't want this labeling so uncheck the object uncheck the label sorry and uncheck right click uncheck the label so that we don't see the names of this line because we already have the endpoints. We, we have the names of the line as A, B, B, C, A, C. So every time you execute an op operation, click on this left extreme left side the arrow bar and click on move so that any unnecessary operations don't occur on this screen. Once you have done this, let us first save this. Uh, name of this project, I call it as uh, properties of triangles. So properties of triangles and we are waiting for yeah it is saved successfully so once it is done first let us see how to locate orthocenter what is orthocenter orthocenter is a point of concurrence of the three perpendiculars from op, from a vertex to the opposite side so we want perpendicular so the fourth icon select perpendicular line for that select point a from where you are going to drop a perpendicular on the opposite side so select bc so this is the first perpendicular line. Then it is still in selection. So B and select, click on AC, the second perpendicular line. Click on C and uh, AB. This will be the third perpendicular line. So we got all of them. Now just move the triangle a bit just to show that the point of concurrence is at a particular point. So uh, the, the point of concurrence of these three perpendiculars from vertex to the opposite side is called orthocenter. So first let's label it and right click, go to setting and uh, name. Its name is orthocenter. Click on use a text as option and uh, we'll do some color coding for this. I'll select red color for this. So orthocenter is this which is an interior point for an uh, acute triangle. Now let's uh, locate centroid. What is centroid? Centroid is the point of concurrence of all the medians. And what is median? Median is a line joining vertex to the midpoint of opposite side. For that purpose first we have to find where is the midpoint. So we have selected the midpoint option. Click on A, click on B and uh, E is automatically located as the midpoint similarly click on b click on c and then we will get the midpoint f is the midpoint 
click on C and click on A and then we have midpoint G. So median is the line but I am selecting line segment so that we don't have a assembly of many lines. So click on uh, first B and then G you have the first median go to setting by clicking on right and uh, do the color coding for this so that we don't confuse with many lines on the slide okay i just move the triangle a bit so that f doesn't coincide with the the line the perpendicular line now the line segment selection click on a click on f this is the next median and we will do the color coding very quickly. So go to the color coding and the recent selection. Done. Now still the line segment option is on. So click on C and click on E and uh, right click on EC and go to setting. Go to color and the recent selection. So you can clearly see that the three green lines which are actually medians are concurrent. There is a common point. Concurrent means once we have a triangle and any two medians you uh, draw, definitely two lines intersect but the third line passes beside. It doesn't happen. All the three medians passed through the same point. So they are concurrent. The point of concurrence of all these uh, medians is called centroid. So first we will do some leveling. So H and uh, go to setting by clicking on right. And in the caption, this point is called centroid. So select on user text. We did it. And the color coding, go for the recent selection. So that is the centroid. And now let us see what is circum uh, center. Circum center is the point of uh, concurrence of the perpendicular bisectors of the three sides of a triangle. So let us uh, construct the perpendicular bisector. So here the perpendicular bisector selection. So for perpendicular bisector you have to only click on the three sides. So click on AB. You got the first perpendicular bisector. So this line is perpendicular to AB as well as it bisects AB. So it has to pass through the midpoint of AB. And clearly see it has passed through point E. And I will do the color coding for the line so that we don't confuse on this. So I will take uh, a particular color which I have not taken till now. So something in blue, a bit dark or this blue, this blue is good. And uh, then uh, the perpendicular bisector is still in selection so clicked on BC and uh, the color coding so that we avoid confusion among the many lines and click on the recent color option and this time again click on AC. and. Uh, AC's perpendicular bisector is there. Select the line. Right click. Go to setting. The color and go for the recent selection. So now you can clearly see that. Okay, first let us save it. Every time you do certain number of executions of commands, keep saving it so that we don't have any malfunctioning of the simulation that is being created. Now I just hold one of the vertices of the triangle and just try to move around and I clearly see that um, the three points, the three blue lines point of intersection I clearly see at this location. So let us name it point on object, select the point and we will name it by going to the settings and uh, name of this line, point of concurrence of all the perpendicular bisectors is called circum center and uh, check the use caption box and uh, go to the color coding and select the recent uh, selection. So we have located orthocenter, centroid and circum center and before checking about the properties where they lie, what they, what happens to them uh, with the types of triangles, so let us do the last uh, uh, property of the triangle that we wanted to learn that is a in center in center is the point of concurrence of the angle bisectors of the three angles of the triangle so angle bisector we want to construct 
So select the angle bisector. Once it is selected, click on any two adjacent lines that hold a vertex. So that is the angle bisector. And uh, we should not confuse on this. So first I'll do the color coding of the line. The angle bisector, the color coding. So go to color and uh, select an unused color till now. Okay. The dark purple and this tangential line, just a tangential line, hide it by unchecking show object. The angle bisector is still in selection, so click on the adjacent line beside B and uh, color coding, instant color coding so that we don't confuse among many lines and the recent selection and uh, hide the tangential line and uh, still it is in selection so the two adjacent lines holding C vertex so this and the instant color coding and the recent selection and uh, uncheck show object for the tangential line. So we got uh, all of them. The three purple lines are again concurrent. So here itself we understand that uh, the angle bisectors are also concurrent. Perpendicular bisectors, angle bisectors, medians and perpendicular from vertex to the opposite side, all of them are concurrent at least for the acute triangle that we see. So a moment I just uh, turn the triangle or just move the vertices so that I can clearly see the purple lines uh, point of concurrence. So I did see that so that I quickly label it first. So the points where the angle bisectors have intersected is the purple line point of concurrence and go to setting and uh, this is called in center, in center by definition point of concurrence of all the angle bisectors of a triangle is called in center check the use text option and the color coding the recent color selection so this is what we have done so again save it okay now uh, we have located four points i just bring c very closer now you can clearly see that the points ortho center red one the purple one in center green one centroid and the light blue circum center all of them are interior points to an acute triangle now as i convert the triangle to a right triangle let us see how it looks like the when triangle abc is converted to right triangle the ortho center went to the right vertex and uh, the circum center came at the midpoint of the hypotenuse. I'll show it very clearly so that we don't confuse on this. Yeah, now it is a clear right triangle. Ortho center is at right vertex, and you see circum center, the point of intersection of the three blue colored lines, that is perfectly at the midpoint of the hypotenuse BC. But in center and centroid are interior points. So for acute triangle ortho center, circum center are uh, for acute triangle ortho center and circum center are interior points. Right triangle ortho center and circum center are points on the triangle. And uh, now let us see if the triangle gets converted to obtuse. Now this is an obtuse triangle, angle A is obtuse greater than 90. Ortho center and circum center are exterior points. They have went, they receded away from each other. But in center and centroid are still interior points. So for different types of triangles, ortho center, in center, centroid and uh, circum center, their locations change with respect to the type of triangle. Now clearly see, acute triangle, all of them inside, right triangle, ortho center, circum center on the circle, on the triangle, ortho center at the right vertex, circum center at the midpoint of the hypotenuse and for obtuse triangle, ortho center, circum center are exterior points and 
they move away from each other but under every type of triangle in center and centroid are interior points now let us uh, study one more uh, property of triangle that are these four points collinear for that i select the line option and i selected orthocenter and then i selected i have not selected i just went close to in center but i see centroid and circumcenter are aside means orthocenter and in center when i take the line through them we don't get four points all these four points as collinear so from orthocenter i take the line through centroid and then circumcenter and i see that this line is a line a common line through which orthocenter centroid circumcenter pass by so these are three points are collinear so i do color coding for this line so that uh, we don't confuse which line i'm talking about so first color coding uh, let's take a line let's take a color this is clear color and uh, select basic and uh, this line on which ortho center centroid circumcenter all these three lie that li that line has a name it is called line of euler or line of euler and uh, in the caption you type it and uh, check the use text option and close it so uh, select the move option as and this you can move anywhere the line of euler you can see here so now let's see with the type of triangle will these three points stay collinear will ortho center you see ortho center yeah this will be very clear when i show see ortho center centroid circumcenter all of them lie on the yellow line so these are three are collinear for whatever be the type of triangle so this is an excellent simulation that can be used to understand these properties and how to plot them and where these plot where these points lie and uh, which which points are collinear and what is that common line called so the common line is called line of euler or line of euler thanks for watching this video